Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Savvy Cast. This is Jamie, and I'm thrilled that you're joining me today, whether you're watching on YouTube or listening to the podcast. Okay, friends, I wanted to talk today about cookware. Many of you may have heard just last week, it came out in the news definitively that Teflon nonstick cookware, which thousands of us have used before, probably grew up eating food cooked out of those pans. The Teflon contains chemicals that live in our bodies forever and can lead to liver cancer. So it is super imperative that none of us have Teflon cookware in our homes or that we use them. If you have them, you need to throw them out. I have gotten rid of all of mine years ago because I was concerned about it, but it has, it's now definitive. So I wanted to jump on and share with you my favorite healthy nonstick cookware. I will mention another that is great. If you want really good quality and you also want a great aesthetic, I am using uh, green pan, but there's also uh, Caraway Home. It always escapes me, but it's a very popular brand, Caraway Home. It's beautiful as well, and it's super healthy. To me, the difference in what you choose is going to boil down to aesthetics. I like my lids to be glass, and that's one reason I chose Green Pan. The Caraway Home lids are are the ceramic. You can't see through them, but they're beautiful. So it all boils down to just what the look you want. But I want to show you mine. I just want to run through it, show you the pieces, what they look like, and tell you what you might use them for if you chose to get this particular set or a set of 10 piece cookware. And of course, 10 would be five of the pieces and five would be lids. Actually, there are only four lids so you have one, two, three, four, five. You have six pieces and four of them have lids. So anyway, but a 10 piece set is what I got. I'm going to go through it. First, I want to show you the box. And this is the reserve collection. I ordered this. You can get this at Williams Sonoma, West Elm, um, Amazon. I will link to all of the places that you can get these. And you basically want to go to the site that has the color you like because William Sonoma will have a color that maybe West Elm will not have or Crate and Barrel. So sometimes you have to dig around to find exactly what you want if the color is um, something that matters to you. But mine is taupe. And what I have is what I'm going to show you, but I have a eight inch fry pan an 11 inch fry pan, and then a 3.3 quart saute pan, a 2.1 quart saute pan, 3.2 quart saute pan, and a five quart casserole. And all of the saute pans in the casserole have lids. Okay, now when you're looking, and I can tell you that Caraway Home and Green Pan do not have these chemicals, but you want to make sure that what you're looking for in cookware is free of PFAs, PFOA, lead, and cadmium. And I hope I'm pronouncing cadmium, cadmium. Anyway, if it says, if it is healthy, it should make it very clear on the box. Now, I do want to say, before I start, I'm going to start with the fry pans. There can be confusion sometimes, the difference between a fry pan and a saute pan Super easy way to distinguish a fry pan like this one. The sides will be slanted. And on a saute pan, the sides will be straight. So I'm just going to start. This, this particular collection has two fry pans. And a fry pan is not typically going to have a lid because you're, it's you, the type of food you're going to cook in it, you would not put a lid on to steam it or to... Um, cover it in any way, but I have an eight inch and an 11 inch. And for a fry pan, some of the most common things you might do, you might um, cook some bacon, saute an onion or saute some peppers, cook an egg or two. For this small one, I would cook an egg for myself in this one, but if I were gonna cook eggs for Zane and me, I would go up to the 11. And the sloped sides are good for cooking eggs or omelets because it's easier to turn and to flip. 
So that is some of what you might use the fry pan for. Okay, now you could also use a fry pan for pancakes and that type of thing. Okay, so I'm going to put these over there, and then I'm going to go to my two smaller saucepans. Okay, now this is one of the reasons, guys, that I chose green pan. Everything that has a lid, the lid is clear. I like to watch my food. I like to see how much water is left if I'm simmering something um, or if I'm making beans or peas. It sometimes a rice, if your water gets low, it might burn. So you can watch if you have the glass lids, okay? And also this particular color, and I'll link to this, is taupe. So we have the taupe cookware. The handles are gold. And then we have the clear lids with the gold handle. So I just think this is a really neutral, um, elegant color combination, but there are so many, there's so many beautiful ones. Okay, so there's not a huge difference in the size of these, but the 2.1 quart, I would probably use this to steam my potatoes, steam broccoli, cauliflower, um, steam eggs. It's just a real, and it's great. It's a good size for rice. So I would use that for that. This one is bigger. I would just use this for possibly um, boiling smaller amounts of pasta for a pasta salad or making um, heating up spaghetti and meatballs maybe from frozen because there's more room. So it's basically what size of food you are preparing that would determine which size of these you would pull out of your cupboard. Okay, and two more that I want to show you. This one is a 3.3 saute pan with lid. And you can see this is also a saute pan because it's got straight sides. So you can use it without the lid as strictly a saute pan, but you can also use the lid when you need to cover it. What I would do, and because this is wider and it's um, easier to access, I would do things like, I would make maybe a one skillet lasagna because you've got room to layer a, a stovetop skillet lasagna because you've got room to layer your meat, your pasta, your sauce. And then you can transfer this from the stovetop to the oven if you wanted to keep it warm. But there's many one skillet meals that would be great in this size. And I think you could also... If you were going to make, okay, around Christmas when I make beef tenderloin, I make some fabulous brandied mushrooms. This would be a great size to make those in because the sides are high enough to contain the liquid that the mushrooms would simmer in. And um, also you would want the lid to help steam and cook the mushrooms through and to cover them while they were having that long, slow cooking. So that's what I would use, some of the ways I would use that. And then the last one is this five quart casserole. This would be the size that I might pull out if I wanted to make, say, a big batch of Southern peas on the stovetop. I would probably do two pounds in this because I like to make more and have them for the week. Um, you could do a small pot roast in here. And of course you could use this to saute it, to brown it. Then you could throw in the carrots and the potatoes and you could transfer this to the oven because this is oven safe. These are actually the green pan. Now I'm not sure, I think they're all the same caraway and green pan, but they are. They are oven and broiler safe up to 600, but if you put them in the oven with the glass lid, you don't need to exceed 425. They will go on all stovetops except induction. That is something important if you're doing a renovation or you're moving into a home that has induction. You need to make sure you're aware that these, and I'm not sure what other brands, will not work with induction. But this, if you wanted to do your pot roast in this, you could just put it on the oven. I always brown my roast before I cook, cook it the rest of the way because I like for the exterior 
to have the brown rather than just the pale gray. So I would brown it in some oil, toss in some baby carrots and potatoes and the seasoning, and then I would cover it. And then I would put it in the oven covered and cook it for, I would probably do, I would probably do 300 for four or five hours. And then I would maybe check it, but a small roast, you just want to go low and slow, but you could do all of that in that size. So this is just what I have. And I encourage you to, I'll try to also link to some caraway home options, but I do want to show you one more thing that I would definitely recommend adding to whatever collection you get. I love this. And now it's very dirty, needs to be washed, but this is a green pan. But y'all look, it's a monster. It's a 13.5. I use this more than any other pan because of just because of the way I cook. I will cook a lot of roasted vegetables and then I'll set them aside and I'll, I brown a lot of uh, chicken sausages and then I'll add lots of peppers and then maybe I'll add some steamed potatoes and I'll saute everything together. I make a lot of skillet meals that have a lot of things combined that I need a lot of surface space. Now, this is so large, you could make, oh my goodness, you could make six or seven small pancakes in this. So I recommend adding a large one in addition to whatever set, because you're typically going to have to order separately any pan that's this size because they don't come in a set. These are just sort of um, standalone. But anyway, that is what I have. And guys, it is very, very important. Just make sure you don't have Teflon. And honestly, some of us, and I'm one of these, I've got cookware that I've not looked at in ages and it may be Teflon. I, I don't think so, but just make sure um, that all of your cookware is safe. I will link to everything that I shared. And if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out. But as always, I'm so grateful that you stopped by. And until next time, you have a fabulous rest of your day.